Today I want to talk about my sink. It's a sink and gas ring combination. It's only got one gas ring, which is perfect for me. All I need to do in the morning is make a coffee, wash me stinky dinky, and I'm good to go. But apparently the DVLA say, well, no, you can't do that. You need two gas rings. And I wouldn't have known this if it wasn't for you guys commenting below. So a big thumbs up and a massive thank you to everyone that's commented on this subject. It's really helped me out. You've no idea. Also, thanks to you guys, I've come up with a solution. Now, before we talk about that, I need to go to the dump. Because I've accumulated quite a lot of stuff, like offcuts, bits of wood, bit the old panelling. It accumulates quite quickly, and I am very limited on space. I mean, space is a real premium. So I'm going to go to the recycling centre right now, get rid of this lot, and then when I get back, we're going to talk about sinks. That's got you excited, isn't it? <laughs> Now this place is actually undercover, which is nice, when it's raining, the downside is, it don't half smell. Okay, so I've made it back from the recycling centre, um, and just to recap, for those people that haven't seen my previous videos, this thing, oh, I've got a bite, it is my sink, this is the sink that's caused, all the, caused a bit of a stir on my channel, quite topical. Now when I find it up, just for those people like I say that haven't seen it, here's the sink, sink, gas ring, like I say, that's all I need, that's good enough for me. Oh, you've got to watch it, I tell you, it's got a bite on it. Now the DVLA, they say you cannot have, or you cannot register your van as a converted camper van unless you've got two gas rings. Um, so that leaves me with a bit of a problem. Now thanks to you guys, like I said before, you've helped me come up with an answer. Well, not an answer, a solution to that problem. And it's quite simple. All I need to do is fit a microwave. Yep, simple as that. If I fit a microwave, apparently that's all I need to do. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fit a microwave in the side under my sink, probably under the sink or to the side of the sink above the fridge. Anyway, you get the picture, it's gonna be fitted under the work surface, I'll take some photos, make it all look pretty, send the photos off to the DVLA and say, hey, can you all register my, my van as a motor caravan? A motor caravan. Why do they call it a motor caravan? It's a camper van, for God's sake. Anyways, when I get me new V5C, whatever it's, slash logbook back, and it says on there, motor caravan, guess what the microwave's gonna be doing? going to be jogging on and I'm going to turn that space into just a cupboard. That's my way of getting around it. Just hope they don't watch this video. Eh? Right, so that's what I plan on doing. Yes, yeah, so that's how I'm going to get around my sink. So once again, thank you guys for all your input and uh, yeah, most of all, giving me the heads up on it because I would never have been none the wiser. Yeah, it would have been a real pain. So yeah, I'm really grateful, thank you. So the rest of the day, I'm going to sort out my ceiling. I'll need to insulate it and clad it. Um, but before I do that, I'll need to sort the wiring out. And most importantly, I'll need to drill some holes in the roof for my uh, solar panel wires. These things here, it's just a bit of wire. I'll need to thread that through the roof. I'm not going to fit solar panels just yet. I'm going to wait till the spring probably, that's what I plan on doing, I probably won't because I'm not patient enough, I want it all done and finished, <laughs> but I plan on waiting till the spring to fit my solar panel, so I've got this bit of wire, it's a proper, with proper solar panel connectors, I've got my flange, so this is going to be, I drill a hole in the roof, flange then gets glued to the roof with um, mastic, got it somewhere, I suppose I should show you what I'm going to use for those people that aren't familiar. Back in a minute, because you won't find it. Yeah, I'm going to show you this because I highly recommend this stuff. It is... It is um, the only stuff I use, anything outside the ceiling, um, I've used it for years, I've used it on like, I don't know how many occasions, 
and it's never let me down. I mean, I've even stuck body panels to cars with this back in the day when I used to do that for a living. Yeah, I used to work on cars and stuff, but rebuild them and yeah, horrible job. But yeah, this stuff, um, PU sealant and adhesive, I just call it mastic. When I go to the shop, they know what I mean. Um, once it's set and stuck, it's there forever. Unless you, the only way to get it off is to cut it off. So I trust it. I trust this to stick this to my roof and seal it. So that's what I'm going to do. Where I'm going to put it, I'm beginning to like this band. I'll show you in the roof because it's the roof, right? It's not sealing just yet. <laughs> There's these plastic grommets. Look at that, it's actually like a like a plastic grommet. So what I'm gonna, rather than cut through the metal, I'm just gonna cut two holes in that plastic grommet from above, or the blow, don't really matter. And then thread my wires through, leave the plastic grommet in place, just drill holes in it. And stick my wires through that, run them along this channel. Right, so it's only got to go from there to there, then to my solar controller, which is gonna be there. Hopefully them wires are long enough. Yeah, so that's my plan. But to do it, I need to find shelter because although the sun has come out now, I don't, I'm not trusting the weather at the moment. It was chucking it down just now. So, uh, yeah, I need to, I need to seek refuge under a, a motorway bridge again. But this time I found another one. I found a, a motorway bridge similar to the last one. But it looks much better. So uh, I'm going to grab my drill <laughs> and my mastic, my mastic gun, find a motorway bridge, park under it. Oh, you'll need a ladder as well. Get on the roof, drill some holes, do a bit of gluing. So let's see how that goes. <laughs> Keep your fingers crossed. I'll report back in a minute. So I found a new workshop. This is better. The road isn't so busy. It's more of a country lane than a main road. But nevertheless, the M25 or the M20, not quite sure which one it is, it's above me. And more importantly, it's gonna keep me dry while I drill my holes in the roof. Not that you'd think the weather was that bad now. The sun's come out. But 20 minutes ago, it was absolutely chucking it down. And half an hour before that, it was beautiful and sunny. So I'm not going to take a chance. I'm actually going to stay here now. And, uh, yeah, drill the holes in your roof. Like I said, drill some holes in the roof. And then, while that's drying, by the uh, mastic drying, I'll do some insulation as well. I'll just stay here, <coughs> probably for the rest of the day. Happy days. So, quite simple. There you go. That's what it's going to be like. That glue on there like that. Nice and neat in the middle of my roof. Perfect. Oh, here that. we go. My clamps are on the wires and that pulls it down and holds the flange in place while the mastic sets. And I'm going to stay here for a couple of hours now. So that's got plenty of time to dry. I'm going to carry on doing some insulation on the roof. So there we go. It's all nice and cosy up there. All nicely insulated. All I've got to do now is put my vapour barrier up, but I thought I'd make a little video quickly just to show you what it looks like before I do that. Because once the vapour barrier is up there, you're not going to be able to see it. Well, you will, but not very well. Look at that. Now, you can see the benefit of the frame now. See, I put that frame up there for the fan, and the, the roof vent, and uh, that acts as a guide, as you can see. It acts as a guide where to put my insulation and where my, my um, cladding is going to go. So my cladding, I can put around that. And when I put my vapour barrier up, I can staple my vapour barrier to that timber and then put some of that silver foil tape around it as well and insulate it. It'll be all nicely sealed off, nice and cosy. No damp's going to get in there, no moisture. But I've run out of that tape, so I need to go to the shops and get some. That's next. It's getting really dark. I think it's going to chuck it down soon. Now, some people have asked me what that blue flashing light is. Don't worry. They've not come to get me. <laughs> It's my alarm on my dashboard. It's got a little light. That's why that flashes. Yeah, all right, so that's cleared that up. I'll oh, state my hands. It's all blue and horrible. All right, so like I say, next job, vapour barrier, and then my cladding. But before I put my cladding up, I need to go to McDonald's, because there's something there 
but it helps me do my cladding and I've run out so I need to go back to McDonald's to get some more now what that is you may well ask well that is for tomorrow's vlog so if you don't want to miss that don't forget hit subscribe hit notification give me a good old thumbs up till then ta for now